this is Rafi Fisher from Orcam, and he's come to talk to us today a bit about the products, a bit about the company, um, and how they might be able to help you. So if we just start with a little bit of an intro, if you could just sort of talk us through kind of what your job is, Rafi, and sort of what you do for Orcam, and then we'll go from that. Sure, be happy to, Mark. So I'm speaking uh, to you from the uh, Jerusalem headquarters of Orcam Technologies. Uh, my role here is the public and media relations manager for Orcam. So in essence, I am, I guess you could call it internal public relations for the company or in-house in public relations really for the company. And my, my really ultimate goal and challenge is communicating uh, you know, what our devices can do to empower people in the many countries where we sell them throughout the world. Excellent, excellent. No, that's good because I think most people that are involved in the industry, they definitely would be familiar with the brand Orcam. Um, but they might not know sort of much about sort of the company. And uh, I know there's new features that I definitely want to talk about if we can later on. So if you could just sort of tell us a little bit sort of about the uh, the company and sort of the, a bit of the history maybe, and maybe yeah. the vision um, moving forward. Of course. Uh, so Orkham Technologies was founded here in Jerusalem, Israel in 2010. And it was co-founded by Professor Amnon Shashua and Mr. Ziv Aviram. And these two uh, co-founders, 1999 founded a company called Mobileye. And Mobileye is now in, I think, over 50 million vehicles in the world. They use artificial vision technology to enable safer driving, to avoid accidents and, to, and safer driving on the road because of uh, different positioning. It, it detects, you know, if there's pedestrians, if there's cars nearby, that kind of thing. And so, mm -hmm. so the co-founders were certainly inspired by Mobileye's technology, but to, to, to to bring about Orcam, what Orcam does is completely different algorithms. It, it starts and stops with the artificial vision, vision, if you will. Um, yep. What Orcam does is use computer vision, machine learning technology to empower people, to improve the quality of life of our many users. And so that was 2010. We actually spent the first five years purely of R&D. First five years of our existence, we didn't have a device to, 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 you know, to market. It was purely developing it. And we, and we consulted with many, many people who are blind and visually impaired, who really wanted their crucial input into what should go into the design of this assistive technology device. And, and one thing that we heard from them very loud and clear was that they didn't want a device that worked 80% of the time, or even 90% of the time. They wanted a device that could rely on all the time. And so that, that's why we really took our time to have a, a, as most accurate and easy to use device as possible, which came out in 2015. That was Orcam MI1, if you will, the first generation of Orcam MI. Um, and then uh, three years later or so, uh, Orkham IA2 came out, which was a huge leap. I mean, it was, it was the original technology with many improvements, totally different form factor. Now the device you have right here, size of like a lipstick case, size of my index finger, basically, very lightweight. And, um, and this was also in response to our many users. They wanted something that didn't have a wire, there's no hard wire here. They didn't want a base unit, they wanted a standalone device that was as small as possible. And they wanted something discreet, you know, because you know, they, they also told us, a feedback we kept hearing is that um, they didn't want something that called attention to themselves, you know? So yep. this, this device right here, it can almost be mistaken for like a Bluetooth device of some sort, you know? Uh, they don't have like a big sign over their head saying, look at me, I'm visually impaired and I have this huge device. This isn't anything but, you know, but, uh, um, you know, uh, it's very discreet, anything but intrusive, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and so in 2018, we came out with Orkham I2 and we've been, uh, enhancing and adding features ever since. Um, we got to the point in 2015 when we first started, it was only available in English in the US, Canada, UK, um, and Israel, actually English and Hebrew, the first two languages. Now we've gotten to the point where we're close to 50 countries and around 25 languages in uh, that, are, that have been developed and are, and are being you know, sold right now, being used right now. And, um, and those include Asian languages. We're available in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. And those by far, were, were much more challenging for engineers in other languages because even Hebrew has an alphabet, you know, and, and European languages, of course, Latin languages, um, Latin characters, but with, with Asian languages, they're characters, you know, that are, that are just a totally different way of reading. So we had to really retool our uh, algorithms to accommodate that, but somehow they did it. You know, I, I can talk about what R&D does. <laughs> I can't talk yep. about how they <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that probably leads me on to our next thing, because I know, obviously, um, as a company, we've been supplying assistive technology for decades now. But the nice thing with sort of Orcam in the market, it is a, a unique uh, kind of product project. So we talked there about a uh, product, sorry. So we talked there about sort of the R&D and the technology and so on. But 
Could you just sort of describe, because I know there's kind of two form factors, could you just sort of describe what makes it unique in the market um, and sort of how somebody would use that day to day? Sure. Yeah, we really, um, you know, I like to think, you know, that, that, and I really think this is accurate, that OrCam created a new class of assistive technology for blind and visually impaired people with this tiny device. Because unlike a lot of other, certainly there are other assistive technologies available um, and, and for different uses, but oftentimes they rely, they're wearable magnifiers, for instance, oftentimes. They rely on the user to have a certain level of residual vision. Our approach is totally different. You know, it's just a different kind of approach. What we do is we communicate certain aspects of the visual world by audio in real mm -hmm. time. So what you have here is a, a smart camera in front and the small speaker in the back over here. And so what you do is you put it on your, your eyeglass frame, your existing eyeglasses, or you can get any pair that will work, snap it on, and the speaker rests right above my ear. So I can hear the audio, you know, no problem, but nobody else around me could, unless they're standing like right on top of me, you know? So, yep. so what this device does, it recognizes or reads, I should say, um, text of any kind, printed or digital text from any surface, recognizes people's faces, identifies consumer products, product labels, um, identifies money and colors. So basically, you know, again, I'm, I want to go back to the, to the hundreds of people that we consulted with early on. We kept hearing from him, from them, those things. You know, these are the crucial things they wanted from the device. They wanted text. They wanted people. You know, I had one uh, visually impaired uh, user tell me um, he, he loves facial recognition because he used to be in a room, people would leave and he'd be talking to a chair at that point, you know, and it would be really uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, not, not a good feeling. And so you can tell who's in front of them. And if the person's name Program then will actually say the person's name. Otherwise, we'll say a man or a woman is in front of you. Yeah. Okay. 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 And how about because obviously I'm familiar there with the the one that you've got on the glasses. How about the sort of portable one? So if somebody didn't wear glasses or didn't want to, oh, um, the, the, what, the handheld, yeah. the handheld. Yeah. Person. Yeah. 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 Right. So so this so this just actually came out this past year. Um, it's called OrCam Read. So it's about I would say double the size or so. It's about a thick pen, you know, like and it's very lightweight, you know, um, in terms of holding it. Um, and so what OrCam Read does is it takes the OCR, the optical character recognition technology that we pioneered in OrCam My Eye, and it uses it, but in a, diff in a similar way, but in a different way. Let me, let me explain what I mean by that. Yep. So you can see there's also a smart camera in front over here, um, mm -hmm. and the speaker is down here, but it's handheld, so you don't have to put it up to your ears. The audio output comes from the speaker, or you can hook up Bluetooth hearing aids, not, sorry, not hearing aids, Bluetooth headphones, earbuds, or a speaker to it even. So what you do is you have a one button over here and you, uh -huh. you hold it above any text. So it could be a computer screen. It could be a sign on the wall. It could be a newspaper. And one of two laser options you have here. One is the laser box that gets bigger. The higher you take the uh, pull up the device, the, the bigger the box becomes. And once you have that text you want in that box, all you do is click once and the device starts reading to you just like that. Um, and the other, well, other possibility, the other option is a pointer. So you can point to where you want to start reading on the text. Um, yep. yeah. What this, I mean, this is actually for a really a much larger population, uh, potential population than Orkin My Eye, because you have people who have, you know, mild to moderate and low vision that could use this, but you also have people who have reading challenges. Um, and that's really our main focus with this device. So you have to have some level of sight, oftentimes, you know, fully sighted people, people who have dyslexia, or you know, different kind of challenges reading, this helps them really not overcome it, but really get the most out of their, their time. And it's time well spent because this reads you right away. So all you do is click, point and click, and you hear the, you hear the reading. And this differs from the existing technologies out there, which are kind of like these pens where you physically have to move the pen over each word. You know, it's a very tedious process and you can hear one word or one sentence at a time at most. Nor Kim Reed is the only one, as far as we know, that can actually capture and read full pages of text or full computer screens. Of text. Okay, okay. And I know because some of the feedback we had, obviously, we've been supplying Orcam for a while, and sort of in, in the sort of early days, there was the, they understood the concept, the customers understood the concept that they could grab a, say, like a newspaper, that kind of thing. Um, but they weren't sure exactly where they were on the page. They didn't know what they were reading. And I know that Orcam have, have introduced a feature that kind of combats this. And yeah, I wondered if you could just tell us a little bit more about that and how that works and wh whether it's on both devices, I suppose, as yes. well. Yes. Um, so we're very excited about this. It's, we call it smart reading. Um, you know, really, I look at the OCR that are in these devices as really a breakthrough. And I look at smart reading as a breakthrough of a breakthrough, if you will. 
because what it does is it makes the reading experience interactive, uh, more efficient, and, and uh, it's just more empowering because what happens is when you use smart reading, whether it's or and it's on both devices, by the way, whether or can read or can my eye, right. yep. you, you it's activated by vo voice commands. You say to the device, start smart reading. It takes a one time picture of whether it's the computer screen or the newspaper or the page of the book. And then that's it. You can put the device down at that point and you can ask the device, <laughs> ask Orcam to tell you um, certain, certain information that you want from the text. You can actually say, um, are there, find, read me the dates. Is there any dates in the text? It will read the dates. Read me the amounts. Um, you know, read me starting from Google, you know, and it will find the first instance of, instance of Google and start reading from there. Um, and so you can ask to find specific words too. Um, it really, you know, it, it's, it's just, you know, it, it's actually in a certain sense, even more efficient than sighted people because you can, if you want a certain piece of information that you, you think is on there, you don't have to go through the whole body of text to get there. You just ask Orcam if it's there and they'll tell you. And it'll give Absolutely. you the context. It won't tell you the word. It'll tell you what's around that word. So, you know, understand what context it appears in the text. I suppose it almost gives you like a control F, like you would have on a PDF on a computer yeah. and you can just jump straight yeah, to yeah, what you want. Really, yeah, no, yeah, that's just amazing. Like that. I mean, exactly. And, and like I said, it's voice activated. So once you had that initial photo taken of the text, you just ask, you know, or you can ask to read the whole thing. You can ask to skip ahead, skip behind. Um, if it's a newspaper, you can ask it to read only the headlines of the articles. Uh, yeah. And then yep. you can say, oh, I want to hear the third article. You know, to read the first two articles to get to the third article then, you know, so it's really efficient. Excellent, excellent. Now that's good. I can see obviously how appealing that would be to somebody if they were getting posed through the mail or <clears throat> the nice thing with these products is because they're kind of portable, so they're really pocket sized. Obviously, you can use them while you're in at home. And we, we have sometimes people would say, well, why would I want it if I'm at home? It's like, well, because you could be in any room. So you could be in your hallway reading your post. You could be in your living room reading a book. You could be in the, in the dining room reading it. And, and you're not having to move things around. It's all sort of in one place. So I think that's good. And it, again, if you could just sort of reemphasize. So one of the key things with assistive technology is that it gives people back their independence and sort of empowers them so they're not reliant on um, so I don't know, human intervention of uh, having somebody there to physically read. And I guess this, this really does mitigate that. Yeah, I like to say, you know, this OrCam devices uh, give increased independence because it helps the person maximize their potential really to be a better version of themselves with this technology in hand. Not that it can solve problems for them, but it can help them overcome, you know, certain obstacles that they wouldn't be able to handle without this technology. I mean, I, I, I spoke with a woman in, uh, in London actually, who talked about, she's blind, and talked about going to a bookstore with Orca in my eye, and she can, in her words, I can pull any book from the shelf and instantly read it. And it brought yeah. tears to her eyes, because it's not like she couldn't do it before that well. She couldn't do it before at all. Now with yeah. Orca, that unlocks that possibility for her. Yeah, and I guess also, I know we've, we spoke a lot about sight loss here, but obviously the, the handheld, the Orcam read, is kind of ideal for people if the if they have trouble kind of reading, again, it just everything, the doors kind of open. Again, you don't, if you've got severe dyslexia or, or something else, that, which means that you can't read, that enables you to be able to read. And as you've said there, it kind of speeds up the process because, um, yeah, you're not having to sort of take your time reading something. You literally just snap a picture and within yeah, a couple of seconds kind of thing, it's reading the whole thing back to you. Right. And you can pause, you know, fast forward, rewind with the device. Um, one more thing I want to add that's really unique about these is that, um, not only are they wireless, as you can see, but there's no internet connectivity involved with either of these devices. Yeah. So these yeah. both work completely offline. And they're really the two main advantages, I would say, is speed. That so enables, it's a close distance, so it tells you the, the text, or with my eyes case, also faces and colors and whatnot, um, very quickly. And there's also, and this is a very big uh, issue these days, there are no data privacy concerns because nothing's being transmitted to the cloud and being brought back to the device. It's all happening, you know, right here in one of these uh, closed systems. So there's no data privacy concerns. So, and uh, so yeah, you've got the privacy thing, but then also you don't need to worry about sort of signal or anything like that. It's just, it's totally independent. Right. You, can and use I, the, you can use the device like on a top of a mountain in the forest somewhere where there's no reception. Yeah, it really doesn't matter where you are. Excellent. And I know that's the thing, all, all of this kind of stuff, it, it probably seems kind of technical and um, yeah, in the background it is, but one of the nice things that we sort of find with the, the OrCam is that people will be able to use it, even if, you know, a lot of the resistance to the barriers usually to assistive technology, especially if we're talking about the elderly, is, oh, I've never used technology before. Maybe they've used the TV and that, that's about it kind of thing. But 
I think with these, they're kind of they're so intuitive to use. You, yeah. The learning curve isn't isn't that that steep. Absolutely, we took really sophisticated technology and made it into like a very easily used uh, you know form factor with these two devices. You know, they're, they're tactile and there's very few buttons on there. It's very uh, intuitive operation. We actually have uh, our youngest user is six years old and our oldest user is a hundred years old in New York. So wow. really, it could be all ages, I would say, except you know for for toddlers. <laughs> yeah. excellent excellent and i suppose what one of the sort of important things when people are watching this video when they're reading about all cam they may uh maybe they're in an employment situation and they want to be able to they can see the benefits of this um but maybe they don't have the finances to necessarily purchase it themselves what sort of options have people got say if they are as an example in an employment kind of situation right so it really varies by country of course we're talking about the united kingdom you know today and so there is financing available uh, for people who are employed, who are visually impaired and need, require the device to help them not only stay in employment, but perform their duties, you know, their, their position. Um, and that's, uh, and then they can apply for funding and get the device actually funded uh, by a program called, uh, uh, I forget the name on top access of my head. To work. <laughs> access to work. A a yep. a ATW, access to work. Um, so that, that is in place um, in the, uh, you know, with, with, the, with the Orcam My Eye device. Excellent, excellent. Now that's good to hear. And is there anything sort of on the horizon that you'd be able to sort of share with us now or even just allude to the fact? Because it, again, it's one of the things that was really nice when we first started um, sort of selling the, the oil can, which in recent memory, it wasn't that long ago, but the improvement sort of almost month by month seemed to be, yeah, it seems to be, there seems to be improvements like all the time. Obviously the, the R&D team are, are keeping on working on that. It's, yeah, is there anything that people might sure. might be interested in? I'll give you two different answers, actually. One, and when the second one speaks really to the vision of WorkCam and where we're going as a company. Um, in the shorter term, another feature we're going to be adding, and this isn't the same class as smart reading, is what we call orientation. With orientation, you'll be able to um, get a sense of if there's a door in front of you, if there's a cup on the table in front of you, and WorkCam will actually guide your hand to that door handle or to pick up that cup by a series of increasing and decreasing beeps. So okay. really, that will help physically orient you to the to a place, not just tell you what, what certain things are, tell you how to how to access them in a certain way. Okay. Um, okay. And and really, you know, we look at ourselves now that we have two devices, and soon we're going to have a third device, which I'll uh, explain in a minute. We really look at our, our cam looks at itself as a pioneer in personal AI technology. You know, we're not just a, a company that caters to one population in need, several populations in need. We, we want to empower as many people as possible. And so in that in within that you know mission. Uh, next year, we're coming out with a device called Orcam Here, and that is using our AI technology for people who are hearing impaired. And so that's going to really be a game changer in that sphere. But that, that's, that's really, you know, down the road. But um, these two wow. are reality right now. You know, people say, oh, well, it could do this. It does do this. We, we have like tens of thousands of users around the world that are successfully using one of these devices. Excellent. And if somebody was to, as an example, they, they buy my eye and it's got the features that it's on it, but then you release more features. Do they, are they, do they have to pay to get, I mean, how does that right. work? So, so with feature updates, um, what you can do is I, I mentioned there's no Wi-Fi, no internet. There actually is in one instance. So to get updates like software updates, which we periodically release, um, you, you connect to Wi-Fi in your home the, the device automatically senses there's a download to, to, to take place, downloads a software update, and then you're back offline using the device anywhere you want. So that, that's built into this, and that's built into your purchase price for, the, for, those, for those software updates. Brilliant. So, so, yeah, I suppose in that sense, it's almost it's like a mobile phone. So you have your, your sort of software updates, and then every few months or whatever, you can just keep updating it. And, yeah, obviously nobody's charging you for that. Okay, okay. Now that's interesting. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Did, did you have anything else that you wanted to say or anything um, that we may have overlooked? Yeah, look, I, I, I'll just bring it back from the beginning. You know, I mentioned I'm, in, uh, I'm the public relations director for Orcam, and really my biggest challenge uh, and goal for the company is raising awareness of our existence, raising awareness of how we can empower people and already are empowering people. Because when you, when you talk about a device, whether it's this or this, and you're looking at text, and you just press a button and you hear that instantly read to you, people are like, yeah, it doesn't really work that way. It really does. It really does. And I want to help, you know, any way I can spread the word of how we can help people and how we are helping people in the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can vouch for that, how simple they are. You literally, as soon as you pick it up, it's, it's really kind of incredible when you think sort of, like say the nearest comparable thing in the market might be like a desktop unit. And obviously it's going to be 
slower and, and it's, I mean, it's almost instant. Uh, it's, yeah, no, very, very impressive stuff. So, so thank you very much. So we really appreciate everything that you guys are doing and we'll do our best to kind of raise uh, awareness. And I think it's important if anybody's watching this video and they know somebody that could benefit from it, you can reach out to ourselves or directly to Allcam. And yeah, this, this kind of product, there's not many uh, sort of products in, in, in certainly in the industry that you could sort of say can make such a difference to your life in such a short space of time. As you mentioned before, there's lots of assistive technology out there, but a lot of it, it, there is a kind of a learning curve to it. Whereas with your cam, I mean, it's almost like black magic, like you. I, I don't really I mean, understand it. It might take it might take a little while to master the nuances, but the basic operations you can master in five minutes. You know, it's yeah, exactly. exactly. That's and I think that's the key thing. I think for a lot of people, you know, whether they've got dyslexia or, or they've got low vision, ultimately their goal is to be able to read. Um, and that's the thing. This really does kind of take the weight off people's minds with that because it's, yeah, like you say, within a few minutes, you're kind of reading straight away. So, yeah, no, that's good stuff. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time. You enjoy pleasure, I'm Mark. sure Jerusalem is probably a little bit warmer than here. It's a bit cold and miserable. I'm guessing it's well, boiling up there. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Right. Speak soon. Take care. Okay. You too. Thanks for having me on.